Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel Tech Two again. And this video is again going to be about Sunflower Land, our progress. Um, there are some stuff that I tried out, whatever I told you last week, that be careful when you're playing Treasure Island because that will utilize a lot of resource. Hence, it's going to like slow down your progression um, in your thing. Not that you should not play, I'm just saying that you have to be careful about how you spend your resources. I decided to do the opposite of what I told you guys yesterday, um, last time. And I was like, you know what, let me play and see uh, what happens to my progress. But before we jump in, this is uh, a non-sponsored special shout out to a channel that you should definitely, definitely follow if you are the highest level of player. If you're suddenly, for some reason, due to SEO or anything, coming to my channel to learn about some, um, you know, stuff about Sunflower Land, let's head over to Desktop Live Gaming. And uh, this is what I'm talking. So I'm level 15. Um, I've intentionally kept it level 15 for a whole week just because I was playing Treasure Island and I wanted to see for the last two, three days that uh, how much resources did I waste? So I kept a track about how much resources I waste on that and how much SFO I made out of it. So um, before I jump in, please do check out Tekaton's Crypto Talk. Um, uh, he is, he makes like literally daily videos about um, Sunflower Land. Um, he is now on the, you know, talks about the Sunflower Land expansion, which is expansion number 16. He has literally more or less every NFT unlocked. If, and if you're that kind of a player who's who has literally all tier one NFT unlocks, unlocked or anything, and uh, you have added liquidity, this is probably one of the profitable, one of the most profitable P2E game right now, sitting on Polygon. But um, <clears throat> do have to follow his uh, ways and stuff like that. He sh shows you a lot of strategies and stuff like that for higher level players and uh, do definitely check them out um and um, if you will find him in the i think uh, in the discord um of the content creation panel uh for uh, sunflower land also so if you go to their discord you'll see him uh, out there also so he is verified do check him out and let's go back to sunflower land and uh, let me share you some stuff so level 15 i have not progressed What's going on, Take a do? Why are we not progressing? Last week we were at 15, today you're at 15. Let's be honest, I was slacking a little bit. Um, I'm losing kind of interest in this um, just because uh, I was focused into more Treasure Island because it was very exciting for me. It was very fun to play Treasure Island. And uh, it was fun to, you know, like discover like uh, small rewards and stuff like that. I think it everybody wants to get rewarded but do note that uh, every time you're playing you're losing 0 0.06 sfl two wood one um, <laughs> one stone and uh, better to do is sand drills because you're going to get the compass and then you have to submit four compasses to get the treasure map with the help of treasure map is how you're going to make uh, more you're going to get higher value items, right? You're going to get like the power it, pirate bounty and stuff like that. Now, pirate bounty is the is the thing that we, everybody's looking for. Pearl, pi, pirate bounty, or, you know, coral. These three are very expensive. Right now, I could only find a wooden compass. I'm just keeping that just because if I'm playing it again, I will have to collect four of these. So where to get this treasure map? Basically, you go out here, go to Helios, go at the top, and you can say, see that I need one more treasure, uh, sorry, one more wooden compass, and I need five gold for this. Um, basically, more or less, everybody gets one treasure map, so it's not that it's going away anywhere. I think so, but, uh, and it gives you 28% SFL on treasure bounty, which is actually crazy that, that you can make so much, and that was what I was trying for. But in that progress, obviously, this game is amazing that, uh, I totally forgot about my farm and uh, I was utilizing all my farm's resource <laughs> to play the treasure island, which is actually fun, to be honest. Um, but this is what you have to remember, that you cannot be focused on something RNG and you f forget your main route. In any role-playing game, there's a main quest and there, there's a side quest. 
You focus on the main quest because that's primarily what you need. Side quests, yes, it's fine. It's there. Can get it. Perfect. Same goes um, with this sort of P2E games also. Um, and uh, cakes and everything is fine, but there's so much of stuff to maintain, like the chicken and all that stuff. You do need a lot of procs. You do need to go higher level as fast as you can. You cannot slack on lid of being at level 16, 17, or 18. You have to cruise through all the levels. Then the fun part begins. And um, I just wanted to do it reverse and see it for myself whether whatever I told you last um, last video where I was telling you, yes, yes, it might be fun, but it would be utilizing resources. So for the last two days, here is how much I had spent on wood. Um, so let me show you just because this is like like a creator account and everything for me so I can literally show you. I had 1,000 wood. So right now I'm down to 653 wood. I had uh, 110 stone. I'm down to 6 stone. I had 35 to 40 irons. I'm down to 2.15 iron. And I had uh, around about 10 gold. I'm down to like 1 gold. So did I lose resource? Yes, I did, did lose resource. But that was why this treasure island was made so that people do not bank on sfl people keep on spending their sfl and hence the economy moves and hence uh, when you go to coin market i don't know why it's very stacked but if i move to sfl you will see that probably one of the most stable coin uh, year to date like no cap year to date probably one of the most stable coin and this is how they maintain their economy with this burning max how you play it it's upon you how you play it literally depends upon you um and i actually proved my fact point you know like when i was uh, telling you that be careful you're going to be utilizing a lot of resources all right so mission number one is going to be going to go to goblin retreat wearables keep on checking these whether there is any upcoming or not do this every day with me auctioneer there is more mint coming up and as you can see you cannot get collectible beer because i forgot to upgrade my farm so i have to be level 20 to get this um i think bear i need the level 21 craft obviously there are a lot of craft items that is there but didn't make so many apples or didn't have 300 didn't have 300 mangoes sorry oranges or blueberries or compasses so these are required right and uh, don't have you know like didn't do anything because i'm we're just wasting so much of money on that right um well you have to focus on these SFTs and everything. You have to focus on these NFTs. That's your primary target. Do not go away from your primary target, which is going to be these SFTs and NFTs, because that you can later on take it out of your farm and sell it on OpenSea. That is your primary goal from the game. All right. That will be all from the channel. Take a do. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. See you folks on another episode. Um, I think it's going to be more about Metalands. Uh, I was expecting them to drop something like within this week. But again, it's just a bunch of waiting time. Um, Everybody is developing and still under development. Um, like even Rebelbot says. So let's see what comes up next on our next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice night. See you folks on another episode. Goodbye.